Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's topic is how you can integrate Atom Payment Gateway in Codeigniter. So let's get started. Well, I have created this view payment page where I get customer name, email, mobile number and address from DB and amount I'm just going to insert in input. So let me show you database. So I have created one database with payment gateway name and having one table that is customer in it. So I have inserted one customer in it and there are eight columns in DB. So now let me show you coding part. In application, you can see in controller, I have created one payment controller inside that loaded payment model and i have fetched with customer id manually that is one and in payment model i have created one function that is fetch customer data return a row of customer id one after that in payment page that is view i have displayed all these customer name, email, mobile address, all the details and for input type price you know I have created a form and a submit button now that's the you know view part that is payment page and now let's move to quickly atom payment gateway that's our main topic so let's go to their website and go to developers in developers download CI1 and you can see a zip file is downloaded now copy that zip file and paste that in controller and extract here and you can see in atom CI there are four files and if I'll open that in my folder Now in sample.php that's basically you know giving atom is giving us a sample that's how you can call their functions so there is a file for transaction response and also there is a file for transaction request so in request like if I'll check in sample so these are the functions while we are requesting our you know payment to atom payment gateway and transaction response is like giving us response from atom payment gateway and that we will be receiving and storing that in database so let me explain you these functions so firstly i'm just you know including transaction request file after that i'm creating a new object of transaction request and first one is set mode so that will be test or live so I'm just keeping it test and after that it's set login so you will be receiving login when you will purchase atom payment gateway and after that password well you will get two password first one will be used for atom merchant login and second password is transaction pass password that will be used in your code so here i'm using transaction password after that you can see product id that also you will be receiving from atom after that amount this amount will be your grand total after that currency that is inr after that transaction amount that's going to be service amount or service charge after that return url so that's response.php and you can see we have also file for that that also called transaction response and there is a hash key that will be provided by atom and that you will be writing here after that there is client code that will be unique and we will be sending client id here set transaction id that is already provided with random number transaction date is also there 
and these are like customer name customer email id we will be sending these through our form that we will be you know building request key will also be provided by atom and last one is pg url so that will be built by transaction response file so now let's go to form and change some fields so copy input type and pass input type hidden with name customer name pass value also so in value pass customer name that we fetched in like above that is customer data pass customer email customer mobile number and after that customer address also so send these in form input type hidden and in form method post action is going to be php eco base url and inside that payment slash you can see checkout so let's get to payment controller and write function that is checkout and inside that get this post like every data of post so first one will be let me see in form first one is customer name so fetch that customer name and store that in a variable after that customer email also store that in a variable mobile number and next is address and here we also have to take price <coughs> so all post data is fetched here now let me print customer name let's go to browser and refresh write something in price and submit now you can see knowledge is printing so that's the name of you know customer id one so let me tell you what i have done till now I have created a form and I have taken some fields in that that is customer details and I have submitted that form and here I have just you know fetched all those posts and now I'm going to integ integrate my payment gateway in this same function that is checkout so let's go and do it so from sample.php I'm just going to take transaction date and transaction ID first now copy that in checkout and after that require once that is transaction request.php and if I'll refresh in browser transaction re request file no such file or directory so it's not taking the path so we have to give complete path so that file will be found so app path and slash so let me just see what exactly it's giving me so till application it's giving me so after that i have to write controller and after controller atom pay ci and atom pay again folder and refresh again now there is no error now i'm just going to copy all the functions of transaction request and i'm going to paste here now set mode is test only right now you can change to live set login and password will be provided by atom i'm just going to change price and transaction amount is zero client code uh, i'm going to just pass one more hidden field that is customer id i have not taken that let me check what exactly is column name 
so in db so it's correct customer id is there such that in post also customer id after that in client code i'm just going to pass my customer id transaction id and transaction date is already present and customer name i'm going to pass customer name customer email id so i'm just passing these same fields in this and customer address now last one is uh, like request hash key so you will be provided this one by atom and now last one is header that is it will be redirected to the atom payment gateway page so i have not set return url right now so i'll be doing it later so let's go and check in browser firstly write any price and submit you can see url is changed now so it's going to the url that is defined for testing mode and so let me just show you exactly where this is defined so if i'll go in file that is transaction request there is a function that is set url oh, let me see now yeah there you can see set url it's having for live it's having different url and for test mode it's having a different url so it's going on the test url right now so for testing you can go to net banking and choose atom bank and after that click on pay now so it's giving us transaction id bank transaction id and transaction amount so you can choose success or failure now click on button you can see it's going on response.php so in return url it is set to response.php and if you will check in response file file first one is included transaction response after that response key and one function that is validate response and what it is doing is it's validating the signature so i'm going to set my own response url so in a variable write base url with payment slash payment status so let's create this function that is payment status and from response copy and paste in this function after that pass complete path for transaction response and hash key you can get from atom that is response also and after that it's printing post so let's go and check in browser enterprise and submit in payment gateway choose net banking submit click to continue now it's going to our response url that i have just set and it's printing all the fields that atom is going to return for success f code is okay now let's see for cancel again go to home page and enterprise in atom uh, like click on cancel for cancel f code is c now let's check for failure again insert price then choose bank pay now after that choose failure and click to complete transaction now for f4 like for failure it's f you can write pre for better reading of array 
and I have created this table where I'm going to store transaction data. So if I refresh, so now you can see it's um, in a better form. So now in controller, get all the fields in array. So create data array and inside that it's going to be associative array get all the fields i guess there are maybe more than 20 fields it's returning so write every field that is mrp mmp transaction mer transaction amount product so i'm just quickly so i'm just skipping this part and i'll show you after i have done all writing this so i have done writing all these and these all are the fields that atom is returning so now i'm going to create one function for payment insert data so in model create one public function payment insert write underscore this db insert table name that is atom transaction and pass that data in that and return true now go to browser and for success one refresh and let's go to database and check if it's inserted so one row is inserted and everything is there so in this video I have shown you how you can integrate atom payment gateway and store the transaction data in your database so in my next video I'm going to show you how to redirect to payment success or failure page second one error that I have faced when I'm integrating atom payment gateway and for where to check for error log so i'll be discussing then this in my next video so please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching